Ah, what a refreshing sleep. Man, I feel so cold. Yeah, I'm really cool too. Oh hey Sue, you're looking good this year. You're no cheap competition yourself, sir Percy. Man, that sunshine is really nice and warm. Mm-hmm, let's go to the snake ball. All right, let's do it. When the hordes of snakes emerge from their den after a long hibernation of frigid winter cold, their cold-blooded reptilian bodies are eager to escape and expose themselves in the heat of the spring sun. In addition, they have other goals in mind, to reproduce in their own manner. Once emerged, the females leave the den quickly, and then 17B estradiol induces the production of epidermal lipids in the females, so they leave behind a lipid pheromone detectable by the males by their tongues. Once the males pick up their trail, they can deduce the source of the trail, be it male or female, size and condition. These pheromones are not diffusible in the air, and thus the males track them physically by, the, by their vomeral nasal system. Once they catch up, they congregate around the female. Good evening, and for the live viewing of the Garter Snake Ball, we have Mr. Sock of Science here, live on site, with one of these wriggling balls. Yes, here I am, ready to explain this phenomenon to you. These red sided garter snakes have congregated themselves in a writhing mating ball. Once the snakes have all collected, the single female is near the center of the ball, with all the males surrounding her. The males are so desperately trying to align themselves with the female for ample opportunity for mating. Once a male garter snake is successful in his alignment, the male inserts his sperm into the female's cloaca. Once fertilized, the male then places a gelatinous plug into the female's cloaca, called a chastity belt. This belt stops the female from mating for some time after and ensures that her egg is fertilized by the father's sperm. The plug is correlated to the size of the father and the mother, and this plug enables each male to immediately leave the female and mate with other potential females. Once mating is completed, the female snake secretes a copulatory fluid, which then discharges an airborne pheromone, which alerts all males in the mating ball that the female has mated. This disperses the mating ball as the males do not have to expend energy on a futile effort due to the chastity belt, which is evolutionarily beneficial because the males do not waste energy. When garter snakes first emerge from their winter hibernacula, many are often relatively sluggish because of their long period of inactivity and lowered body temperature caused by the winter in their den. To solve this problem, some males, called she males, use mimicry of females, actions and similar skin pheromones to attract other males. These pseudo mating balls allow the she males to heighten their temperature through contact with other snakes as well as provides them with protection in numbers. Although this technique is very effective when no females are present, as soon as a real female is nearby, the she-male loses attractiveness and is abandoned by the other male snakes.